My parents told me that I was scribbling ever since I was five years old. It's, it's good therapy because then I forget about everything else that was sad, you know? It helps me to uh, forget the problems that we had. Is that your mom? My mother. That's my father. He went to the University of Chicago to be a chiropractor. And then who was this? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> not very smiley. Because I was told to sit on that chair and look at the camera. <laughs> a strict family with big dreams. Lorraine, born in San Francisco, a U.S. citizen. I uh, just felt proud, you know. Proud to be an American. Yeah. A state of war has existed between the United States and the Japanese Empire. Then everything changed. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Her father? Well, he was very, very shocked. But even more shocking, orders to pack up and get on a bus. How long did they give you to move out and go to the 24 camp? hours. Did you have a suitcase? No. So in your arms you had whatever we could carry. Even like underwear and shoes yeah. and yeah. 120,000 Japanese Americans were rounded up and put into internment camps. Lorraine could hear people crying and confused. Well, why are they doing this to us? They built have built barracks, army barracks. Some people were put in horses stalls. Stalls with hay and horse manure, and always guards and guns. It was prison. Lorraine, 13 years old, two and a half years inside the barbed wire. A dark time she's sketched out in this book. This really hit me. This drawing here, no shower curtains. Yes, the first time I ever saw my mother naked. Over time, privacy improved with shower curtains and doors, but the injustice still cuts through her. It's wrong. Even when she hears, well, the attack on Pearl Harbor scared people back in 1941. What if you were spies? Can you understand that at all? Or no. It wasn't until 1990 that President George H.W. Bush apologized for the United States. Lorraine printed his letter in her book. We can never fully right the wrongs of the past. The U.S. government did pay reparations. I got myself $20,000. But money doesn't erase memory. So she paints a sort of therapy for her. And one more note, Lorraine's brother Lawrence joined the military, like many Japanese Americans, a commitment historians now put into perspective for us. Young men willing to go off and risk their lives for America at a time when their mothers and fathers and grandparents and cousins and brothers and sisters were still locked up in internment camps. Dr. Rob Satino, senior historian, the National World War II Museum, he says, in fact, one unit of Japanese Americans. The 442nd, for its size, the most highly decorated uh, unit in US military history. It's about a 4,000 man unit or so, and 21 of them were awarded the Medal of Honor in the course of the fighting. No other unit in World War II certainly even comes close. As for Lorraine's brother, he served our country in Germany in World War II in the United States Army. A statement, Lorraine says, of loyalty over bitterness.